Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. Hello, Kate. How are you? Oh, Wilson. How are you? Now, you've done so many products over the years, but this is the project that obviously most people know you of. What was the thought process when they came back to you and said, we want you to come back in a hologram form? <laughs> and an animated hologram form. Wilson. Animated. <laughs> to boot. Uh, it was a surprise. It was a surprise. Um, and in the end, it was a, a terrific surprise because at first you sort of think, well, what is this animation? I mean, and, and I'm a hologram. Is this, a, is this elevating or is this reductive? And of course it is elevating because I'm going to be able to reach the minds and imaginations of a thousands upon thousands of little ones. And what could be more <laughs> promising than that? You know, it's one thing when you have a new series and it's introducing a whole new cast of characters, but you're the character that's the cornerstone that's bringing in fans from the older series. And with this particular one, I don't know how much you can say is, how does she come in time-wise when we know, you know, it was like, wait a minute, Voyager ended in this time century and we're in this time century. Well, the, well, Prodigy is in an altogether different uh, space and time. But anyway, I, I think the, 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 the most important part of my answer is that it's negligible. What's important is that she just appears. You know, the, the children are not going to question that. Oh, <laughs> I don't <know. laughs> I, I hope they just respond. <laughs> you know, and what is the lore? Obviously, this is a franchise that's gone six decades and continues to grow, you know, and people just love watching this show, you know, this franchise, no matter what variation is it, whether it's a, a film or a new series, you know, where do you think the love is that they continue to make these franchises based off of one show that lasted one season? Well, I think that- Three seasons, I think. <laughs> I think that obviously uh, Roddenberry had a spectacular idea of what human beings want and need. And what they want and need is a greater understanding of who they are. And mm -hmm. what better way to, to look at that, to observe that, to scrutinize or examine that than to make its parallel in space. And so I think that all of the Star Trek fans that I've talked to, and I've talked to millions of them, and I've talked to them all over the world, say essentially the same thing. They are on that ship with me. They are on that ship. That's what, how they regard their humanity. And how do we deal with our humanity and the brief window we call a lifetime? So it's, it, it's just an exemplification, the starship, of what we are living on Earth. Mm -hmm. And how's it for you filming? Like, are you, did you set up a place near your home? Or are you going somewhere to do your voice? <laughs> you know, how's this well, being they, They're happy to, to accommodate me. So I, I record in New York when I'm in New York, in London when I'm in London, and sometimes down south when I'm down south. So that's the beauty of uh, a voice work. You can go into a recording studio and they're pretty available everywhere. Mm -hmm. Obviously, besides this, what gets you to say yes to the projects you take? Obviously, this was a, I won't say a gimme, but you know, you have to decide to come back to it. But for other projects besides this, what's the ultimate part that makes you say yes? The writing. The writing has to be excellent. And at this stage of the game, uh, the character has to be uh, very, very ch compelling slash um, challenging. I've, I've played almost all of it and um, it has to be good. But if it's not on the page, it's not gonna happen. Mm. What are you looking forward to doing next? Do you want I to am doing stage? <laughs> Well, besides this, you know. No, 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 I'm doing, I'm doing something else right now. I'm for <laughs> Alex Kurtzman, the man who fell to earth. That's what I'm shooting in London with him. And I'm mm -hmm. having a, a fabulous time playing an altogether different character, a very, very sort of dark and uh, uh, multi-dimensional character. So I've, uh, I've done three, uh, three or four projects in a row and they've all been wildly different and uh, all of them satisfying. You can never stop working. We can never stop getting enough of you. We'll take you in any form, animated, live, you know, keep doing your thing. We're always there to support you. I'm here to support you. So wherever you're at, 
Stay safe. <laughs> oh, Wilson, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs>